the video is not frozen, make sure you have to be like, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you're new to join the family too. If you know what I just said, then go do that. But yeah, Daily Fan, we're back with another toy hunt. And I just want to know you guys' ideas on other types of videos you would want to see on this channel. But we are at this Walmart, and oh my goodness, AEW figures are back in style. Who is this? Who is this? I actually don't know who this oh, is. Oh, Scissor Me. That's that guy. He does. He scissors Billy Gunn, right? Yo, we got Keith Lee. Everybody knows who this is. Keith Lee just had a figure from WWE, finally. I think this might be his first ever AEW figure. I'm not sure. That's a cool figure right there. Um, somebody should be um, doing a comparison between the two. But we got Tony Storm as well. I guess she's a champion in AEW. Like I said, not too familiar. That figure is thick. You know what I'm saying? Tony Storm is a thick figure right there. Um, who is this? All right, he scissors Billy Gunn too. He says, oh, he scissors the crowd as well. Whoa. All right. Yeah, pause on that one. We got this guy. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with AEW. Ricky Starks. Ricky, Ricky Starks. That's who that is. Walter. Not Walter no more. Gunther. He just lost his title. That's kind of stupid to me the way he lost it. But we got this Seamus um, JBL. Why is he here? Uh, more Gunther. Sami Zayn. That's a cool basic. Like I said, just for the articulation being elite. Um, damn near. Uh, I think something just dropped. Oh, that Y'all seen the Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley battle pack for a long time. Oh, uh, we got this Penta Zero as well. There's a whole bunch of random figures. Y'all seen Kane over there too. AEW's back in stock. But we're at this next Target and they don't have... Oh, the man who scissors them all. Oh, wait, what the hell is this? One of 5,000? Are you kidding me? I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't know Billy Gunn had a chase. I'm definitely buying this. Stay tuned. And we do not open chases. If you open the chases, you are a disgrace. But yeah, this one of 5,000 Billy Gunn needs to be picked up. Mr. Scissor him himself. You know what I'm saying? Team Scissor. Captain of the Scissors. All right, and then we got this. Yeah, this nothing. A whole bunch of nothing. There's a whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, this overrated Hulk Hogan. Uh, yeah, Hulk Hogan is an overrated wrestler. I'm sorry to the old heads out there. Hulk Hogan is a overrated wrestler. We got Seamus, burger after burger after burger after burger. Yeah, that figure doesn't look like it took too many burgers, though. I'll tell you that. Tony Storm again, a thick figure. And, uh, yeah, I don't know where that Hulk Hogan is. They're just making a whole bunch of Hulk Hogans nowadays. But scissor him. Scissor him, man. Scissor me in the comments right now. Scissor me in the comments. But we're at this next... Uh, wait, where are we at? Marshalls. Believe it or not, we are at Marshalls. And uh, this Tamina Snuka is only $4.50. Are you kidding me? You think I'm going to pass on a figure for $4? I know the packaging is like a very damaged. Like, it looks awful. Damn. But stay tuned. We're going to be opening that. You can't skip on $5. Uh, we're at his Target and Captain Lou. I didn't find this yet. This is a cool figure. I didn't find this. I really want this figure for that record, but I don't know if it's worth it. I didn't really grow up watching Captain Lou. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think I would uh, pick this figure up. It's a very cool, though. It's definitely very cool. If you have picked that figure up, then you made the right decision. I just don't think I should pick that up for just, you know, reasons I don't uh, watch them. i never seen him wrestle. We got this Chase, I believe, Honky Tonk Man. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'd rather buy a Honky Tonk with the robe, man. Come on, let's be honest. All right, Walmart, finally, finally, The Rock and my Via family has come back to Walmart. We got Chief, I think, what is his name? Chief something? Uh, yeah, you got the Chief Samoa, my boy Rock right here, and then Rocky Johnson, The Rock's dad. This is cool. Yeah, this is freaking cool, man. But I believe this is, High Chief, High Chief. His name is the High Chief. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to just, I didn't want to call you the tribal chief because I knew he, that's not what his name was. But that set was actually $70. If you guys are buying that, let me know because I am not. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, I thought it was cool though. Uh, Ray Mysterio Jr., I don't know why they gave us that. Ray, like they need, we needed to unmask. You know how many masked Ray Mysterios we have? I don't know if Ray just said, hey man, don't make a figure with me without that mask. But yeah, we do not have an unmasked Ray Mysterio. Uh, just a whole bunch. Yeah, you guys already seen this set, I'm guessing. This is my first time seeing this Triple H, though. I will tell you that. 
Um, but yeah, we seen it with the end caps, the Undertaker, really nothing new. Do they have Stone Cold? Was it Stone Cold from the set? Man, I don't think they had Stone Cold. Kevin Nash is cool. I never seen this before either. Nah, I don't even think. Wait, Stone Cold's not in the set? Are these new? Let me know in the comment section. Did I find something new? Um, but we got this Roman Ultimate Edition. We seen before, you know, very cool Ultimate Edition, the red shoe. I really want this figure so bad, but I'm not paying um, Ultimate Edition prices. I'm sorry. Like, I will only buy Ultimate Editions if they go on sale or anything. Logan Paul, I'm seeing a lot more Logan Paul, which I'm kind of mad about because I thought I was special by finding one. But yeah, uh, Cody, more Cody Undertakers. You know what I'm saying? That's a cool Logan Paul though. Devin paid it up. My Bia family three pack. Can't believe I finally found that. I know a lot of people in the toy hunt uh, community been finding that three pack. So hey, BCW got it done. Daily fam, we did end up picking up this Tamina Snucker. Not that you guys would care about this figure at all, but it was only $4. So who wouldn't care about a $4 figure? And I am going to open this figure because the packaging is absolutely messed up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I know you guys probably don't care about this review, but we're just going to check her out. Here is Tamina Snucker out of the packaging. And honestly, this isn't the worst um, women's figure that I've seen. I remember wanting to buy this Tamina. Once I start seeing a lot of Taminas in stores, like she would just sit in. I'm like, I can't buy this figure. There's no way. But hey, we got it for $4. You can't beat that. And here she is. Let's start with that head scan. I don't know why it's not focusing. Please focus. This is pretty cool right here. She kind of got like a blue. Oh. And I think that blue in her hair is actually her hair. That's actually like maybe some extensions or something like that. Which is pretty cool. I like how she did that. The blue. You can never go wrong with blue. But yeah, this figure, will it focus? All right, I think we got a good focus look. She got a whole bunch of uh, logos and decals on her, which pretty much look like um, Samoan, Samoan logos, you can see, on her uh, attire. But yeah, it's a pretty cool Tamina figure. I don't know if you guys would care about her. Like I said, $4, you can't beat that. Why not just add another woman to the, um, another women's figure to my women's collection. And she got this uh, little Samoan tattoo as well, right there on the arm. I think she might have more by now, but I'm not sure. But yeah, cool figure to add to the collection. Why not? $4. Come on now. One more thing. One more thing. Bye-bye, bitch. 